and we finally got the solar time tracker finished. Actuator arm controllers and everything are done. Now this is a 12 panel mo model and uh, we've got a single axis set up on this one. So this is 3,000 watts worth of solar panels and I'll show you what the controller looks like and everything. Okay, so this is what the back side of it looks like. This is a single axis model. That's all we've got at the moment. And with this, we're going to turn it into a dual axis. We just don't have the other arm and the actuator on it. For now, we just got the single axis. Here's a disconnect box that we put in. It's just a simple disconnect. Conduit running out of ground. And this extra wire here, that's for the second actuator, which we don't have hooked up yet. But we are going to put a, a, another actuator on this. All M phase grid tie, all, these are all Ames grid tie inverters. This is not for battery charging. This is set up for grid tie only. These trackers, the solar time tracker, comes in 12, 8, and 4 panel models that you can get. I'll show you how the uh, electronics for this works here in just a minute. But as you'll notice, the pins up at the top, this is totally adjustable for different times of the year. This is the solar time tracker controller. This controller here will, will control a dual axis model or a single axis model. Depends on how you want to order it. But they, it's pretty simple. There's the controls. And this is a test button. You can hold this test button for seven minutes or seven seconds and the tracker will go through its whole function. It'll go all the way from east to west and back to east again or back to where it was. So that's pretty nice. Just has to plug into an AC outlet and there's not much to it. It comes with instructions. Uh, it's pretty easy to install. There's not much really to it. The actuator wires come in on the top down to these screws. That's about it. Now it'll come pre-programmed. Now this is a solar time tracker. This tracks with time. It doesn't follow the sun uh, with an eye. It does it with time. So for your area, this controller would be timed uh, for your part of the country. So it's going to follow the sun, whether there's any sun out or not. I mean, if it's really cloudy or really hazy, um, that tracker is still going to follow the sun because it's done by time of day, which in my opinion is a whole lot better than tracking with an eye. Okay, this is how easy it is to test the tracker outside. You just want to run it through a test. You hold the red button for seven seconds. Release it. And now you can watch the tracker start moving. Now it will go through all of its positions. It will go fully east and then turn and go back fully west.